Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your WWE Backlash review. Um, not a terrible show. Better than I expected, you know. Maybe because my expectations were so damn low for this card. It turned out to be okay, I guess. It kind of felt like a three-hour smackdown, you know what I mean? Match quality-wise, stuff like that there, but it had a good ending, I guess. First match, Becky Lynch won the Women's Six-Pack Challenge. This was all right, I guess. Nikki Bella did most of the work in the match. Eventually, Becky Lynch won. She's the chosen one on SmackDown for some reason. I don't know. Second match, the Usos defeated the Hype Brothers. Not bad for a filler jobber tag match that should have been on fucking superstars, for God's sakes. Third match, The Miz defeated Dolph Ziggler. Um, he cheated with the help of Marie's. She sprayed him in the face or whatever. Hits the finisher, one, two, three. Um, the match itself was okay, not a bad match there. Um, fourth match. Well, it was supposed to be Bray Wyatt against Randy Orton. Wyatt attacks Orton backstage. He was hurting his leg. Basically, he didn't do fuck all to Orton there, but the quality of them beatdowns has gone downhill over the years there. He was ramming the door on his leg. Hardly did anything to him there, but Orton couldn't compete. And Bray Wyatt won. Um, by default or whatever there. And for some reason, the match was Bray Wyatt against Kane. And Kane defeated Bray Wyatt. Orton came out after the match. Even though he couldn't compete there, he lost by forfeit. He comes back at the end of the match. Hits the RKO on Bray Wyatt. And Kane won for some fucked up reason. I don't know. I don't know why Bray Wyatt didn't defeat Kane. I don't know why it wasn't Wyatt against Orton. As advertised, they do some bullshit there. You got <laughs> fucking boring ass Kane for some reason. Fifth match Slater and Rhino defeated the Usos. And they're the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions there. So apparently Heath Slater is a big star on SmackDown now. He's got his contract, boy. It's the Heath Slater era there. We got nobody left. It's time to push Heath Slater. Bring back Rhino, might as well. Think. And in the main event, AJ Styles defeated Dean Ambrose and became the new WWE World Champion. A big moment for AJ Styles there. We're going to get better matches in the main event. Um, the match was good enough, I guess, there. Um, AJ Styles won. We had two, three world titles, or two, three titles there, and with all this action, I'm, I'm half dead. <laughs> I feel very tired watching this shit, you know what I mean? It was like a three-hour episode of SmackDown. There are lots of wasting time, stuff like this. It was a good enough show. The show was decent, but it's all like jobber matches, stuff like this. <laughs> Weak-looking card. You know, wrestling has changed. Wrestling is not the same. You know what I'm saying? Big world title match, stuff like this. It still feels like it's 
not that exciting, you know, full of fucking jobbers, so, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, folks, but decent show, I guess, but it's a new era, dog, wrestling ain't what it used to be, it's, a pay-per-view is the quality of SmackDown, and WrestleMania is the quality of Raw now, and Raw is a big fat pile of fucking shit, folks, a new era, New era of fucking boring shit there. It was okay, but, you know, it's Jobber City, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, peace!